Hey team, today I'm going to show you guys how to do a chalk water print. It's nice and easy, you can do it for most ages, anything from like kindergarten all the way to high school. This can be something you're doing as a ground for a future work, or this can be the work uh, all together. These are ones that I already did. This is one I made with orange, blue, and pink chalk. Nice and fun, nice and funky. You get the cool splatters in there. And here's one I did just with blue to kind of cool, do an interesting effect. This could be for skies, this could be for water, this could be for really an abstract work, anything you want to do. All you're going to need is a container. I'm using an old Kelsey's container, a fun one. It doesn't need to be. It can be a any Tupperware, a bowl. It can even be a plate as long as it's got a divot that you can fill up with some water. I like to fill it up just like an inch uh, up into this. You also need some chalk. I'm using some uh, regular sidewalk chalk. Use whatever you got on hand. It doesn't need to be too fancy. These are the three colors I like to use, but you can go crazy with it. You can use green, yellow, blue, orange, whatever fun, bright colors you got. Uh, I like to use a knife to scrape the chalk, but this can be anything you have in your classroom. It could be a butter knife, it could be a popsicle stick, whatever works best for you. And then you need a blank piece of paper. For my works, I use some paper from my sketchbook, but this could be any printer paper. It doesn't need to be special. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Hey team, so today we're starting with uh, some chalk to work with. I have these three colors here uh, and a container. I'm using an old Kelsey's container. You can use whatever container. And I also have a knife to scrape and a piece of blank paper. So you're gonna wanna fill your container up with water and you start by just scraping some dust off the chalk and it doesn't need to be in any particular order or design uh, there's all over the place so I started with orange I've got some pink in there too it really, works really well uh, as long as you spread everything out evenly it should work perfectly I'm trying to get some blue in there just to kind of balance out the two colors I already have if you need to, you can put more of some of them in to get more of a color, and then all you do is you place your paper in, let it sit for one or two seconds, and pull it out nice and clean. There you have it. Your chalk water print. Good work, team. There you go.